where Acadiana is. Al Bear. It is 641. Al Bear is learning a thing or two about making crepes this morning. He's also rummaging through spice cabinets. We're going to send it to him. He is at the home of Izzy Romero. She's a sixth grader. How's it going, guys? You know, it's going really well, Alex. You know, Izzy's about to make a crate, but I do want to say this. So, like, they've got all their stuff in drawers. Look at that. Look how nicely organized that is. I love that. Everything's in a drawer. You just pull it out. That makes it very convenient, huh, Izzy? Yep. So, Izzy, we've made the batter. Tell us what we have here. We're heating up some butter right now to okay. pour the crepe batter in. Okay, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of butter. I tend to maybe over butter. You tend to, you know, be pretty prudent with the butter. How much butter do you use? Um, like this much, not like very thick, just a right. small amount. So just like maybe about that much. <laughs> you slice it down, right? Yeah. Okay, and how hot does this need to be? Um, not very hot, just okay. some low, medium. -ish. So we, tell me when we're ready to pour the batter in. We should be good now. This is great. <laughs> So how much do you put? You don't want them too thick, right? Yeah, they're supposed to be a thin pancake, but it does tend to spread around, so. Gotcha. That should be good. Okay. It's a little wonky, but it's fine. It's a little wonky, that's okay. <laughs> Our show's a little wonky. So does it, do you move the pan to make it even, or how's that work? Yeah, I tend to sometimes, but sometimes it's a little too thin, so it just makes this weird pattern. Now how do you know when to flip it? So if you notice around the edges it's like bubbling mm -hmm. and so I tend to check it whenever it's like a little brown and it's supposed to look like a tortilla and there's like little bubbles in it. Gotcha. So when you flip it it's supposed to look like that but it's not quite. So now your mom says wait before you flip it mm -hmm. you can actually flip this from the frying pan right? I could try. Okay now if you mess up it's okay. <laughs> We'll eat it no matter what. I mean, you know, I use the three-second rule in the sign of the cross. It falls on the floor. Okay. Okay, let me get out of the way. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Now that's morning television. Oh, my God, that was really good, isn't it? Holy cow, did you see that? She didn't even use her spatula. Okay, and this is how you make morning TV, everyone. I like that. So how long do you keep it when it's, when it's flipped? Um, so I do check it again. I make sure that it's not like tan. Gotcha. Or not, no, not like, like beige, like not white. You want it beige? Yeah. Okay, okay, Dan Romano, we have a beige crepe going on here. Couldn't get better than this. This is quality television. Back to you, oh, Dan. Tell us what the weather's going to do. Well, Al, if you don't bring back one of those beige crepes, it's going to be a lot darker as far as where you're at, buddy.